example I think is kind of interesting because I actually see a product of two different function compositions. Here I've got tangent plugged into the squaring function and secant plugged into the squaring function. So when I have two compositions, there are two different inside parts. Now, you might see which one is likely to work, but if you're not sure, I suggest you write out both of them. So one option would be to let u equal tangent of x, that's the inside part here. The other option would be to let u equal secant of x, that's the inside part here. <laughs> now, if I were to do this one, u prime would be secant squared x, and if I were to do this one, u prime would be secant x times tan x. Now here, I've got a secant squared. That's looking good. So this would become u squared, and this would get absorbed into the du. Looks like this one's going to work. I will just point out, I do have a secant x times tan x, because what I could do is I could rewrite this as tangent of x times tangent of x, and secant of x times secant, whoops, times secant of x, there is a tangent times secant. I just need one of each to get absorbed into the du. Then this would become u, but then I'd have this extra factor of tangent. So it doesn't look like this one's going to work so nicely, but this one will. And sometimes you just need to write out the options and see what you need for it to work and whether you have that. Okay. So here du would be secant squared x dx. So this just becomes u squared du. That's going to become u cubed over 3 plus c. And then with indefinite integrals, we want to remember to go back to the original function. So u was tangent. So that would be tangent cubed x over 3 